Good evening, with this video. Today we have a Talisman series episode on the Sea Gladiator Mark 1. As I said, we're going to be working our way through the remaining talismans in Britain. And yeah, this ought to be a fun one, is all I'm going to say. All I'll say is hopefully we can get to Italy soon because I know a lot of people have been waiting for Italy. And uh, yeah, Gaijin stuck us one more talisman in the way, which is the KI-43 Free Otsu, so expect that to be done before Italy. But after that, we're pretty much free to move on to Italy, and hopefully we can actually finish off the talisman series, because, well, I say finish off, this will be a series that won't necessarily die, but it will be one that I'll miss, that's for sure, once we don't do it as often. Well, for planes anyway. So, let's go over to Sea Gladiator and really talk about how there isn't really much. This I've, I've covered Gladiators plenty on the channel before, and uh, yeah, this there's nothing really to write home about. The only difference is we're a little bit heavier because of the tail hook, which we will never use unless we get a really weird map. Engine is exactly the same, guns are exactly the same. And yeah, we, we don't exactly have like the biggest in terms of like, we, we don't exactly have the biggest in terms of capability, like, because obviously I did rank the Gladiator in the, I think it was the B tier I ranked it in. It's a jack of all trades, it does things very well, but it does have some fall like fallbacks and, or should I say, issues about it. And that can affect it, but other than that, it's just your standard Joe Average biplane, and to be honest, it's not as interesting as something like the Swordfish, because at least the Swordfish has a little bit of history behind it, but we'll get to the Swordfish eventually anyway. But, let's get in, and let's get cracking. Not really much to go on about the Sea Gladiator, I've covered Gladiators that many times, I don't think I need to really go into it, but... I've had this talisman for a few years now, and I I knew I'd eventually have to get around to it, but yeah, this is definitely one where I don't really want to cover another gladiator, but well, Gaijin said, yeah, you're, uh, you're covering another. Anyway, I will see you all in the first match. In a typical fashion, five seconds after I say that, we get our first match. Yeah, this this is not a map we don't we want either because Gadget doesn't know what map sizes are for biplanes, it seems. You can also see just how little I've actually used this plane because I still have a free repair on it. Yeah. I think that pretty much summarizes how little I've used this specific gladiator, but Yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. Alright, let's get rolling. For some reason the plane is slightly flying like like it was it was tilting to the left slide. I don't know if anyone else saw that. But obviously we're on a massive map, so I'm gonna get grazed whilst I'm on the way there, but at least this thing is quicker than the Po 2 that we had on this map, because Jesus Christ that made me That made me feel old. Let's put it that way. So I'll climb at ten degrees and then I can actually get some speed, but yeah, we're, we're going to be here a while, that's for sure. Looks like a full match though, so this will be interesting once we get into the battle, and hopefully we can have at least a decent dogfight and do some boom and zoom tactics as well, because this thing can do that pretty well as well, thanks to its extra speed over some biplanes, so hopefully we can do that. Anyway, since it's going to take a few minutes, and I'm probably going to get some grey hairs, I will see you shortly. Well, welcome back. We managed to get ourselves a little bit of altitude and some speed, and as you can tell, the enemy team is pretty much all beneath me. There's a couple of bombers, but I'm not too worried about them. This guy in the J11 needs to go first, because I looked at his player card as I was climbing, and, uh, yeah, you need to go. Jesus, wet. I thought that was a friendly at first. You know because of all the cluster fucking that's currently going on down here? There we go. Ah! Ugh, Jesus Christ. There's a lot of ramming and mid-air collisions right now, and I don't like it. I'm killing that first, because... Well, it's an F3F. Needs to go first. God, the rudder on this thing is still awful. Oh. 
There we go. They've really nerfed this thing over the years. Like this this rudder is awful. Jeez. Looks like I'm other than me and the Chinese Key twenty seven and that I sixteen over there. We're the only ones that's actually engaging the enemy threat right now. The rest of them are either bomber zombing or they're stuck in bombers. So, yeah, that's not look, looking too fun. Again, J11 is going to be the priority target because he seems to know what he's doing. God, the, the rod is so unforgiving. Like, jeez. Should have put this in fucking almost D tier. Jeez. I didn't, like, the guns are doing well, that's something I can say. But yeah, th this, this is just not very fun to fly. It will be replicated in that, in the Should You Talisman episode, once this thing eventually gets one. Let's put it that way. Nope. I'm going to leave that for him. Because I need to deal with this Fokker and F3F. Come well, on, mate. Go get him. It's like, you got some hits, but now the 112 is on me, and I've got an F3F in front of me. And of course, he's got better guns than I do. A bit of rudder, even though it's not really working. <laughs> Fokker's not engaging us. I think I sniped the F3F's engine, so that's what's going to help me out here. Still a dangerous little kite, though, so I need to be very careful. Oh, she's struggling to maneuver. Put my flaps down. I won't be able to turn the F3F, but it's got no engine, so. You know what? Come and get it, buddy. You can have it. Go on. You need the points more than I do. Go get him. Go on. Hey, he's got him a fire. Nice. Good shot. Beautiful. Oh, I still got kill credit. Kaijin! You should have gave it to the new guy. Come on. Oh well. You try and be nice and Kaijin's like, no, screw you. You're not helping new players. I don't know why, but Kaijin's just like that recently. They don't like it when you try to help, <laughs> help new players, it seems. Alright. This will be one where I don't really want to engage it, but at least we have the advantage against the Fokker. That was quite naughty. <laughs> Jeez. This has just been a match where me and that I-16, as well as the Key-27, have pretty much had to do all the work. As you can see, our team has just pretty much died on its ass, And now we're stuck with bombers with freaking crap guns, so that that's going to be interesting. Who would have thought I'd be getting seven kills in a gladiator when I'm half asleep and very tired after the last few days of work? But, well, this might be the end of me here, so we're about to find out. Oh, that's 20 mil. Flaps. That 20 mil is extremely dangerous. I've only got the cowling guns to rely on now, so I've got to be careful here. Just got to watch that Dornier, because if that Dornier gets guns on me, I'm going to know about it. So we can automatically assume that the Fokker's engine is dead, because it is a Fokker. But I'm probably dead here. Nope. But the Fokker is. We've really met the fuckers today, haven't we? Yes, I'm making a movie reference whilst in the midst of a dogfight. Because go me. Right, well I need to wait for backup because... Well, the V10 I'm not worried about, it's just Dornier. I don't have the ammo to put down this Dornier. And he's leaving me for dust anyway, so I need to go back. I've got 230 rounds and... Uh, yeah, I can't really do a lot right now. And I'm not taking a head on with a goddamn Dornier 17. Especially not the Night Fighter variant. Nope. 
Fuck off with your little 20 mil. Alright, then loop it back around. Come underneath him. That's where I want to be. He might try and jingle bomb us, so we need to be very careful. Ow, 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 ow. That's my engine. We got him good, but I think he got us good. I think that's going to be the end of us. Yeah, it looks like the end of us, unfortunately. Don't think I'll be able to get this back. He's put the fire out. He'll probably be able to get back to base. Whereas we are not. Well, there's a gap in the bushes there, so I can try and steer it that way. Well, we, we tried. Let's put it that way. I don't think we're going to win this one, but... Well, I've got no engine now because the engine's gone. Oh, well, let's pop the brakes because we're not going to be able to move. Gently on the brakes, don't want to flip. And there we go. So now it's down to three crappy bombers and an I-16 who I tried to help out. I'm sure this team's got this in the bag. Well, let's head back to the hangar. I think we've done enough in this battle. I'll, I'll give the Dornier the kill. Like, yeah, I shouldn't have tell us on it, but what else am I going to do? I've got 200 rounds. <laughs> I might as well try and kill it. But, yeah, this, this thing can do a lot of work. And, well, it helps when the enemy team doesn't really know how to counter a gladiator, to be honest. Obviously, the F3Fs were the higher priority targets, so that was pretty good a bit to deal with them. But yeah, this is just one where it's a talisman, it's a gladiator, we're going to be seeing another gladiator in the series anyway. Nothing really to write home about. I know someone's going to go in the comments and say, Joe's just casually talking about an 8 kill match like it's nothing, and I'm just like, yeah, it's a boring play though. Like, gladiators, when we've got so many of them, just, it's kind of boring. But at least on the next one, we're going to have some fun. We have the Swordfish Mark II, which not only has custom loadouts, which I'll probably never use, but this should be pretty fun anyway. I'm looking forward to this one. It's a gladiator, well, a swordfish. And, well, gives me a chance to make all Bismarck jokes and things like that. So, there you go. Anyway, I'm going to leave you all to it for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Sea Gladiator Mark 1 in action, and I'll see you all on the next one.